Morning YouTube, a couple of things I want to talk to you about today. Um, firstly, it's now nine o'clock on the 30th of March, Monday, and uh, I had an email came through this morning from the NHS registering me as a responder. So I had to download an app. There were some details I had to read through to uh, familiarise myself with uh, what I'm required to do in sort of general terms. Um, how to look after myself and stay out of uh, harm's way. And uh, it's now set up so that uh, I can be called upon to whiz out there and uh, lend a hand wherever necessary. Most likely as not, it's going to be a case of just passing out um, prescriptions um, stuff like that, maybe a phone call to somebody who's a bit feeling a bit lonely or needs a bit of a chat or whatever. But g in generally, that, that's the sort of thing I'm going to be doing. Um, it has an on-off thing, so you can say when you're on duty and when you're not. Um, so at night time I can switch it off um, and not switch it on until I've had my coffee first thing in the morning and I'm awake. So that's something to look forward to. That should be some fun. Um, and also it should be very, very helpful for the community. And apart from anything else, it'll get me out of the house for a little while each day, hopefully. The uh, other thing I was going to talk to you about is um, something I was given for Christmas and I've not really had a proper look at it. And that's a battery charger for the Silver Fox. And that is this thing. It's the um, Optimate 2 and in the box you get, if I can open it, various bits and pieces. Firstly there's a booklet that tells you all about it and how to set it up. Then you get the actual charger itself, which is all of that. And it's one of these plug and go things, you just simply plug it in and leave it um, for as long as necessary in accordance with the uh, details in the book. you get a connector which links you directly to the battery on the bike and you have this permanent waterproof gizmo here or if you prefer you've got this standard crocodile clips I think I may go with this option and have it permanently connected to the battery should be some fun putting all that together uh, and when I do, I'll uh, have a little run through with the camera so you can see me doing it, making a hash of it, no doubt. But at least the battery will be optimised. The only other thing I want to do this morning is give the bike a bit of a start and just let it run for a few minutes just to uh, get the oil circulating. So I'll do that now. Put the keys out. There we go. Ignition's on. There she is. Now, I won't leave it running too long because I don't want to gas myself and end up being requiring assistance rather than giving it. There she goes. Hopefully, once all this virus thing has been sorted out, I'll be able to get a few rides in. The bit of luck I'm gonna get away for a few weekends. That'll do.
Oh, yeah, that will do. So, it's a case now of wait and see as to uh, when I get my first call out. I'm going to carry on with the decorating, of course, until that. Um, but a little bit at a time, you never know. I'll get a call maybe even today. I'll let you know what happens. I've also got another video which I'm going to put on uh, on YouTube fairly soon of the um, the ride out that I had on the 22nd of March when I went up to uh, Burnsall with my son. Um, that's about an hour long, so it will either bore you to tears or entertain you for an hour. Either way, let me know. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you want to. Ring the bell if you want to see some more. And uh, above all else, look after yourself, stay safe, and stay at home.